Let's begin this video by sharing you all with my last year's Portulaca corner. Isn't it quite vibrant and lush? Not only last year, but I grow them every summer to enhance my terrace garden's beauty with those mesmerizing blooms. Once they are done with their blooming cycle, removing and cleaning that corner is essential. If avoided, insects and pests are usually attracted to the wet and damp soil of these plants to lay their eggs and increase their population. To get rid of these insects and pests, every year I take out the complete soil and let it sterilize under the sun for at least 5 to 6 days. This practice makes sure that my plant's soil isn't a forever home to these insects. Let us also have a look at some updates on my other plants too. See how well this Brazilian morning glory is growing. It has almost covered the fence completely and I had to provide it with an additional support to help her climb over. However, it is still not giving out flowers because I had to shift it to a partly shaded condition where it is receiving only 2-3 to three hours of sunlight which is quite insufficient for the flowering vine to produce flowers. To know more about this plant, you can check out my previous video that I have covered on Brazilian Morning Glory. I will put the link in the description box below. Let's move on to Juhi Jasmine Creeper. See how well it is flowering right now. Trust me guys, the flowers of this plant make the whole terrace garden fragrant and I often crave to spend some time here in the evenings. Also, I have shifted my Petri Volibulus here. I just can't help myself. I just keep on relocating and shifting plants here and there. In fact, this location isn't final for this plant yet. I am planning to create a permanent trellis this time for this plant. I will surely share a video of it whenever I plan to do so. And look how well my bougainvillea has climbed up in a matter of 2 months. It was barely growing in its previous container. But the day when I gave it a larger space, it literally grew up tremendously. I really hope to see clusters of blooms on it before winters, fingers crossed. And I will soon share more updates on other plants too. To watch more videos like this, kindly subscribe and see you in the next one. Goodbye.